Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rogue Legacy. Now this video is going to be a little bit of a different video, if that makes any sense, than what is normally put on here, because this is more of an update video. Now, I decided to go ahead and play a game while doing the update video, because, I mean, I think you guys would be more interested in watching a video game than my face the whole time I'm just talking. So I'm going to go ahead and get this game started and after the tutorial and we get started on playing the game I'll go ahead and start talking about what I wanted to update you guys on. Uh, beside the fact that I haven't uploaded anything for about 5 months. Yeah. My duties are to my family dot dot dot. But I am loyal only to myself. Alright, so while I do this tutorial, let me go ahead and explain why I'm playing this game for the tutorial. Or sorry, for the update. This is, this is one of those RNG type of games. Where it's kind of a randomized game. Kind of like Binding of Isaac, where it's not really a set path. There's still a storyline. <coughs> There's still a storyline. Just like Isaac, but um, it's not—it's never the same type of playthrough through it. And then you know, it's a generally hard game, so you have to, you know, get better and get better upgrades until you start defeating more things to understand the story. So I decided to play this because, I mean, if I play something with the storyline, I'm probably gonna want to make a whole playthrough out of it. And this is more of a. I'll continue playing if you guys want me to continue playing type of game. Uh, so, let me go ahead and beat this tutorial. And then after I beat the tutorial, I'll go ahead and start ex explaining some changes that are going to happen in this channel and why. Killed the king. Alright, so... Now, now we're playing Rogue Legacy. And this game has a little bit of a twist to it. It's not like most RNG games where you just get thrown in there because when you start the game, you start off as a knight. And whenever you die, you get to pick between three other ones. And you'll probably see what I mean. You get to pick between three other characters um, to continue your legacy. And they each have their own little quirks about them. They, they're not all the same. Um, so let me go ahead and go into the dungeon, which is randomized, like I've said before. Um, and then I'll go ahead and start explaining. Alright, so, the updates that I'm doing to this channel. Well, let me read this first. Journal entry number one. Treason! An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the widow's woods of the woods since time immemorial. What? Since time immemorial. I didn't know that was a word. But rumors say that within the dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay sleep. To fail this quest will be an embarrassment to my name. I don't know what my name is. Actually, I do know. I am... That's not what I want. I am Sir Lee. Yes. Alright. So... Oh crap. Oh no, fuck. Oh crap. Okay. Okay. This this was probably a bad game to decide to make update videos on. Fuck. Alright, I'm moving. Oh shit. Okay. So. The, the changes that I'm doing to my channel. And why I stopped recording for over five months. Fuck. So. About the time that I stopped recording, I got asked again by the, you know, the store that I worked for to go to another store because they needed more remodeling. And 
the same thing that happened last time happened this fuck and this is the part I was talking about where you get to pick uh, your next heir so this is Sir Wallace of a connive uh, baldness and Alzheimer's so class connive a risky hero low stats but can land devastating critical strikes trait baldness the bald and the beautiful trait alzheimer's you have trouble remembering where you are spell chakra you know b button throws a chakra which comes back to you which is that circle thingy this is lady stephanie the knight her class is knight your standard hero pretty good at everything trait endomorph you're so heavy enemies can't knock you back trait glaucoma it's so dark and the same type of ability and then this is sir gray barbarian a walking tank this hero can take a beating trait coprolalia swearing trait stereo blindness you can't see in 3d i think this would probably be the most fun to go with so you guys can see what i'm talking about right i can upgrade stuff Yay, smithy unlocked. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a very veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Okay, gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments of your armor. I don't know why I'm trying to read. I <laughs> fucking suck at reading. All right, so I can't upgrade anything else. But as you can see, because you can't see in 3D, Whenever I turn, everything is 2D. But yeah. And I'm gonna talk to Smith. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands. But one day, the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever! At a price, of course. And this is where you upgrade your weaponry. But I don't have money, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so I stopped recording for about five months. To oh yeah, fuck. I keep forgetting the shit I need to talk about. Okay, every time you die and you try to enter here... This is Charon, basically death. One must pay the toll. Give Charon all of your money and enter the castle. Every time you die, you lose all your money. And then there's eventually upgrades to where they start taking away less money. But they still take away most of your money. Anyways. So, I, I went to go do that, uh, you know, reset of the store. And of course, uh, I only have one entry. And of course, that reset me. Because as what happened last time happened again where I was caught up doing the, the reset of the store. Uh, and that requires me to be basically on work for about 12 hours. And then go home, go to sleep, and then just go back to work. So for a week, I kind of lost my motivation to keep recording because I wasn't able to record because of work. Now, the thing... I would have gone back to recording, but the problem was that about that time I decided to quit my the, the current job that I had and start a new one. So for the past five months, I've been in the process of a new job, or of getting the new job. So I went to training and all that wonderful stuff for the new job. Um, I guess I'll I guess I can be a little more specific. I, I'm working at the airport now as a customer service agent. Um, I don't know if they care if I say what actual account I work for but for now I just work at the airport basically so now I'm finally at a place where I can I, I'm no longer training I'm no longer considered that new uh, so I, I, I now have days off and I, I don't have to worry about you know training and weird hours and stuff for training so I can actually start going back onto YouTube and making YouTube videos um, aside from that, there was more stuff that happened. Um, I have this weird way of my depression where I, it, it, it's kind of a buildup, really. Let me go ahead and open this and I'll explain it more. Money! Alright, so, 
the way my depression kind of works, and I don't even I don't even want to consider it depression due to the fact that I don't know if I can actually call it that. But a lot of I, I keep a lot of stuff bottled up, and it just builds up to a point to where I can't take it anymore, and then I just get depressed for about a week, and then it just boils over to me eventually just crying myself to sleep and being all sad and down and shit, and so. That happened to me while I was getting this job. So after I finished training and after everything was settled for the new job, I, um, fuck. After everything was settled for the new job, I, I started getting to my, you know, depression pit. And uh, because of that, I didn't feel like recording. I'm finally over it now, hence why I am recording. And hence why I'm now done explaining why I didn't post anything or record anything for the past five months. I was busy with work, then getting a new job, and then being depressed. Now I'm no longer depressed, I'm happy with the job that I have now, and I can actually start recording more often. So after we get the new hero, I'll go ahead and explain uh, the changes that I'll be making in this channel. So we have Sir Jacoby, Knight. No traits whatsoever, and he can... His spell is Conflux. Uh, it launches orbs that bounce everywhere, so those little spiky balls. Sir Hero the barbarian he has hyper hyper gone gonadism you're perma roided attacks knock enemies further trait glaucoma it's so dark and then he throws axes and then we have sir jarvin barbarian glaucoma it's dark and he has adhd he's so energetic he moves faster i think i'm gonna go with sir hero because i need a hero That, that was a reference to a song. I hope someone got that. And I upgraded my health up. And then I'm going to upgrade the knight. So now every time I'm a knight, I can hit the Y button and I can block damage. Something I couldn't do before. And this is what Glaucoma does. It makes everything so much darker. Now, onwards to the changes after the death takes away all my money. So in my channel, uh, before I stopped recording... I was playing Dark Souls, Akiba's Trip, and uh, doing a playthrough with my girlfriend Alex. Uh, we were playing Mass Effect together. Because of the new job, unfortunately, I do still spend a lot of my hours at work. Um, but it, it's not really more like... How do I explain it? I spend 11 hours at work, and it's not because I'm working 11 hours. It's because I work a three-hour shift, and then we have a two-hour break in between that, and then I work a five-hour shift. And unfortunately, that's how my, my days go at work. So I don't really have time to record those days, because it's either I wake up three hours early before going into work to record what I want to record, or I stay up three hours past when I'm supposed to go to sleep to record. But... Like I've said before in other videos, I don't feel comfortable recording when I'm tired because I feel like I'm not being entertaining, which is a big aspect of playing YouTube videos, you know? It's not just, you know, watching someone play a game. You're kind of hoping to be entertained by them playing a game. Um, more money. Cool. And so, because of that, I, I, ha I do have two days off, so what I want to do from now on is record on my first day off and edit on my second day off. And because my schedule is a little bit more tightly cut, more I I, can't, I don't have a lot more a lot of free time like I used to in my old job. Um, I what I want to start doing, um, and this is only if you know everyone is okay with that. And by everyone, I really mean just the the three people that watch me. Oh, a new journal entry. Oh, no, no, never mind. I lied. Um, those rooms are bosses, by the way, and I don't want to go through that yet. Oh, shit, that was just another roundabout to come back. I'm stupid. Ha. Huh. Anyways. Um, and so, as I was saying, uh, because I don't have a lot of free time, I kind of want to change up the way I record my videos. And uh, the way that I want to change it is, I used to spend a lot of my time um, recording video with it. You know, the, the face cam stuff. But, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't get any of this. Ah, shit. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, my God. There's nothing over here. Might as well stand on these things. Bitch. Fuck. Bitch. Oh, yeah. Axe time. Fuck. 
I just fucked up my chances. Fuck. Okay. Okay. And uh, fail. Failing. Failing. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. All right. So because of that, I want to stop recording cam videos and make make my videos more like this. Ah, oh, shit. Nope. Nope. That's too strong of an area. I want to make my videos more like this, where it's just my voice over me playing a video game. Um, and at the moment, I'm trying a new system of recording. I, 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 in the process of not recording, I did end up buying a new microphone. Uh, it, I bought a Yeti. Um, and by I, I mean my girlfriend bought me a Yeti. Uh, so thank Alex. Fuck. Don't thank Alex, fuck. Um, thank Alex for the Yeti. Uh, I'm still getting used to it. It's... Every time I look over right now as I'm recording, I realize that I'm too close to the microphone because I'm still I'm so used to the old microphone and how I used to record with that and how close I had to be to that. So we have Sir Taco. He's a he's a canide. He has dwarfism. So kind of like Alex. Uh, you never get to ride roller coasters. Yeah, that sounds like her. Uh, trait: He is gay. He uh, uh, or I am gay. Apparently, I am a fan of the man. So, that's one of the traits. Uh, Sir Dude is a mage. He has OCD, must clear house, break stuff to restore MP. So, basically, that means that anytime I walk by a table or anything that can be broken, uh, it, it automatically breaks it for me. Or I break it and I get actual stuff from it. But I also get baldness, which is amazing. And then we have Lady Fay, who is also a mage, stereo blindness, and caprolalia. Who also has a beard, by the way. Every female has a beard, it doesn't matter. Uh, everybody has a beard, except for these guys. I think I'm gonna play a Sir Taco, because that reminds me of Alex. Yeah. 260. What can I get? Health or equipment? I'll go ahead and do equipment. And as you can see now, I have two more up, uh, upgrade routes. Uh, Enchantress, uh, it unlocks magical runes and powers, and then I have Architect, who can unlock stuff about the castle. Uh, but those are expensive, uh, actually, no, they're not that expensive. I'll unlock the Architect. The Architect Arch 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 can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the layout of a castle? Lock it down! Just make sure you can afford the fees. Alright, so I can upgrade the Barbarian now, or I can upgrade my attack power, but I can't do either of those because I only have 70. And there's new weapons, but those were already there. Anyways, um, I don't need to talk to you right now. Alright, so I have a new microphone, and I'm still trying to get used to it because, like I said, it's a Yeti, so it's a little bit better than my old microphone. And I keep getting too close to it as I keep on looking over to my right to my to where I can see my um, my levels for my talking, and it, it, I, I still need to get used to it. Fucking shit! Oh shit! Oh no! Ah 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 ah! Die! Ah! One bad about one thing bad about sir. Fuck! Taco! Fuck! Is that he has low health? God damn it. I forgot I have dash. Anyways, so we have Lady Shanoa, mage. No traits. Boring. Lady Jenny, a barbarian. She has pad. Peripheral artillery disease. No foot pulse. So that means, I believe if I'm correct, that means that, you know, that you, uh, the thing that I just did where the, where the fucking needle things come out of the floor, I think that means that if I walk through there, I don't get it. Sir Fleming, Paladin, your standard hero, pretty good at everything, special guardian shield. Trait, Savant, you're very talented with a few issues. I'll go ahead with that one. And upgrade my that, attack, and I'm done. Alright, so I'm still trying to get used to it, like I said. Um, but on top of that, just beside the fact of wanting to give this a go, because I feel like editing just audio... Um, and no video would be a little bit easier for me. Um, I think I'm gonna go this route unless, you know, i told otherwise by you guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, if, if, I feel like this is easier for me to do, allowing me to keep more of a routine with my videos, more of a set schedule with my videos, I'll probably end up doing this more often. 
um, in order to cut on time and be sure that I actually upload when I say I'm gonna upload and have videos ready for people to watch. Fuck everybody in this room. All right, cool. Um, now, on a different note, um, uh, I'm trying to change what I fuck. Not what I fuck. Uh, I already know what I fuck. But uh, um, what I'm trying to do is kind of go a different route with the games that I pick for this. Right uh, At the moment, I was just playing games I kind of wanted to play, which was the Kibis Trip. And then I was playing Dark Souls because uh, one of my friends really wanted me to, wanted to see me play Dark Souls. So I was like, fuck it, I'll play Dark Souls. Um... But now I think that what I'm going to start doing more is playing uh, retro games. Kind of to go more with my actual name for my channel. Um, you know, I I'm thinking about going back and playing more of uh, NES games, SNES games, and, you know, games that are actually kind of difficult. And on top of that, I, uh, just playing old games. And by old games, I, I mostly just mean games that are kind of like 10 years old. So, you know, fuck so, you know, I, playing every once in a while a little bit of Devil May Cry or something. Something that isn't 8-bit, but is still considered kind of old for, you know. I, I'm going to give myself a kind of a 10-year age gap. So, like, if the game was made in 2006 and, and you know, and before that, I'll probably play it. Uh, but, yeah, I was, fuck. So, I'm kind of I'm kind of wanting to do that more, um, you know. Obviously, it's up to you guys if you guys want to see me play those and I'll do it if not then I'll just continue playing Whatever game I think I should play for the channel despite the age of it I just kind of wanted to play those games more because they're a little bit easier to record. They don't require a lot of setup and a lot of computer power to record them because a lot of NES games don't really run at 60 frames a second So this is Sir McGladry he has ADHD and has OCD, the best things to have, and two things that I minutely have. This is Lady Teresa, hypochondriac. You tend to exaggerate. Oh, right, okay. And then this is Sir Hornsby, gigantism. I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go with this one. This one seems a little more fun to play. Um, how much gold do I have? I might as well unlock Enchantress. Everything goes up a little bit at a time, uh, the more you unlock. So the more I, let's say I start uh, upgrading my attack power a lot more, the heart upgrade is going to cost a lot more. So it kind of all coincides to what do you have and what do you want to upgrade more. Um, so there's the Enchantress. Uh, she can work on spells and shit. <clears throat> Hello, hero. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased the knowledge in ruins, and without those ruins, I suck at my job. Please, a hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me. And then I'll sell it back to you at a profit. So basically this allows me to get uh, upgrades for certain parts of my armament. Like this one will allow me to sprint. Uh, but I need 175 coins. And then I get upgrades stuff like that. Like I, I eventually learn double jump and stuff like that. But um, yeah. So that's kind of what I want to go for. Uh, more Game Boy games, NES games, NES games. Um, and because of that, it'll be easier to record because I can use, uh, uh, OBS to record that, which I'm actually currently using OBS to record this game because I haven't used it in a really long time and I wanted to see if, what it was possible to record. Like if, if it'll have any problems recording this or anything, because if I can use OBS, that means that I don't have to, I don't have to worry about recording, um, uh, connecting my computer up to use Hapog like I normally record you know, any game I, 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 I record, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, uh, but if you guys have any other suggestions, like anything else you would rather me do than what I suggested just now, then go ahead and let me know. Um, I'm not going to say like, no, nah, fuck you, this is my channel, but I'll keep it in mind and maybe I, I will just 
go ahead and play old games, but every once in a while I'll play something more of the of what you guys would like to see. Or if you guys would just like me to keep the face cam on, I, I, I mean, I can do it. It's not a big issue for me. But, you know, just, just let me know, basically, what you guys would rather me do with this fuck. With this channel. Alright, over-exaggerating means I take a lot more damage than I'm supposed to. If you didn't notice, I took like 2,400-something damage from that. And that gave me 1750. Fuck! But yeah, another thing I'm changing. I'm just basically changing everything. I might as well just make a whole new YouTube channel. Uh, we have Lady Sonia, Paladin, Hypergonadism. You're permaroided. We know what that does. This is Scorpio. He does. He's not special. And this is Sir Charles, Alzheimer's. Let's go with Alzheimer's. I wonder if I can buy anything. Let me see if I can buy anything. Can I buy a new sword? Nope. New helmet? Nope. Nope. Oh, uh, well. I'll just lose it and then gain it back. So, if you guys are okay with this style, this little setup I have going for this video, if you guys think that you enjoy me playing uh, retro-ish games, uh, and that also includes games that are 8-bit style, kind of like this, and uh, Castle in the Darkness, uh, Finding of Isaac, um, more of 8-bit-ish style games that I know won't dry my computer up whenever I'm trying to fucking play. Or sorry, run my computer dry, not dry up my computer. Fuck. Anyways, um, if you guys are okay with this, then, you know, I'll continue doing it. Uh, I will finish the Dark Souls and the Akiba playthrough just because I already started it and I might as well finish it. But I'll start focusing more on those type of games. Uh, the other thing that I'm changing on my channel is I'm going to be deleting the Mass Effect playthroughs between me and Alex. Uh, and the reason for that is I decided that what I'll do instead is just have a channel devoted to it. Uh, people seem to enjoy me and Alex playing Mass Effect, and I figured I might as well make a YouTube channel out of it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and make a whole new channel where she and I play through game series on the hardest difficulty possible. And we continue the same rule that we have for Mass Effect, where we trade off the controller anytime any one of us dies. You know, even if the game is, doesn't have choice developing stories, you know, or choice driven stories I don't know what to call it um, even if the game doesn't have that we'll still continue doing that just for the fact that if there will be hard you know games on hard mode I know for a fact that I can't beat Dead Space on hard mode I always get stuck on a certain part so I mean it's just a, a new thing that we wanted to try out um, and stuff these heal you just so you know I don't know why I'm explaining everything but um, but yeah, if you if you guys want to check that out, um, we're going to be re-recording the Mass Effect from the beginning due to the fact that I had way too ma many issues. The last session that we recorded, I, um, I wasn't able to use the microphone audio because my microphone messed up. And so I had to use the camera audio and I didn't want to do that because whenever we were recording, I didn't record everything with the camera. Um, so there were going to be a lot of parts that I was going to have to cut off. And I don't know how much you guys want to actually watch of Mass Effect, but yeah. So, those are the big changes that I'm doing for my channel. Um, and, you know, that's the news about the new channel that we're going to be doing. I will be uh, posting that new channel right in the heart. Right in the heart. I will be posting... Uh, ooh, this one's fun. Alright, so we have Sir Gons. He has cussing. This is Sir Glubber. He's a mage and he has vertigo. Welcome to Barfsville. Basically, you walk upside down. And he's also gay. And this is Lady Winry. Tunnel vision. No peripheral vision. Uh, let's go ahead and play with this. Alright. So. Oh, I can buy stuff now. As you can see, everything is screwy. Oh, God. This is messing with me so bad. How much is that? Two fifty. Fuck. Uh, that one. Yeah. Now I have seventy health. This is really messing with my face. 
All right. So, those are that's really it. That's the big the big big changes that we were wanting I wanted to talk about. If you guys want me to play more of this game, I will. Uh, because the and endless possibilities with what we do. Um, what what can happen with this game? Um, and so yeah. Uh, but like I said, if you guys, this this is kind of more of what I want to go for. You know, this video, this update video, despite all the talking and the re redundancy that I kept repeating myself with. Um, despite all that, this is kind of more what I want to do in my channel personally at the moment because of the job that I have. Um, I want to focus more on games, you know, simple games. I mean, just because I say simple doesn't mean that they're not going to be good. I just, something more 8-bit-like, you know, maybe eventually do a Pokemon Nuzlocke run or something. And just use the microphone to record, you know, no camera. Um, if you guys think that the camera made the channel better in some way that I am not aware of, then just let me know. Fuck. Just let me know, fuck. Uh, just let me know, and I'll put the camera back on no problem. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not that big of an issue. I just kind of wanted to go more this route because it's easier to record. It's easier to just set up the microphone and just hit the record buttons on two things and start playing than it is to hit the record button on my camera Realize I'm out of footage space in my memory card. Go back, put everything on the computer, and then start recording again. I feel like I can get a lot more done if I'm just recording my audio. And I can get, like, a good three hours recorded uh, non-stop. Instead of having to do an hour and a half, stop, put the footage on my in my computer, and then realize I'm too fucking tired to play again. Because I took a break. So, that's really it for updates. I don't know if any of you understood anything that I just said. Because I was playing and I was kind of distracted. But yeah, um, new microphone, got the Yeti, hopefully it sounds better. Right now I can see it's probably going to sound like shit because I was being too loud with it. Um, if you guys want to see me continue to play Rogue Legacy, just let me know. Uh, I'll continue playing. But as of right now, when it comes to my channel, uh, we are going to be continuing Dark Souls and Akiba without the camera for a few episodes i'll see how i feel about doing that and if not i'll bring the camera back at least for that and then i'm gonna start switching more into retroish games 8 e games nes games snes games game boy advance stuff like that and then uh in my uh suggested channels on the right side of my page you'll go you'll be able to see the new channel that alex and i will be playing uh series on uh, i know for a fact we're gonna continue playing mass effect from the beginning so we're gonna restart mass effect uh, it's not like we had much done anyways. Um, and because this is the Yeti, I can do I can do one microphone for the two of us instead of two separate microphones. Uh, and for that, just so I can rephrase, just for that, I will be using the camera for that because half of the shit we do is just stupid shit on camera. And then, um, and then after that, we'll probably be playing Dead Space. Uh, it depends on how our work schedule goes about, how often we're going to be able to upload videos or how often we're going to re-record but we're going to try to do it as, as well as we possibly can so you know sorry for however long this video is um i just wanted to update on that not that it really matters um because by the end of it i'm still going to be doing the same shit so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this what seems to be right now a 30 minute video uh probably shorter than that since i goofed around for the first bit um hopefully you guys enjoyed this let me know if i should continue playing this continue doing this style of youtube videos and i will see you guys in the next video take care guys and i guess i should say my outro like i normally do continue doing that wonderful shit you do in youtube and i will see you guys next time bye